Today we're going to make a modern drink, the Unholy Alliance. For this drink, you're going to need a Nick and Nora glass, a graduated double jigger, a bar spoon, a vegetable peeler, a Hawthorne strainer, and a mixing glass. This drink uses scotch, sweet vermouth, Campari, and an orange peel for garnish. This drink is a remix of a Boulevardier. It takes the same proportions as the modern Boulevardier recipe, 3 to 2 to 2, and swaps bourbon for scotch. I came across this drink on Compass Box's website. It was designed specifically to work with the spice tree, a rich, full-bodied blended malt that has a strong flavor of baking spices, oak, and vanilla. Those spices stand out in the heart of the drink. The flavor goes from bright citrus on the nose, then some sweetness, big whiskey and baking spices in the middle, and a bitter orange finish. The cocktail benefits from being served up with an orange twist. And although I prefer a Negroni over ice, some of the bold and striking flavors of the Unholy Alliance get lost if it's served on the rocks. This whiskey is very hard to substitute. You want something that'll not only be able to stand up to the Campari, but be able to stand out. If you're dying to make this drink and don't have a bottle of Spice Tree on hand, you can try subbing in another full-bodied non-peated scotch. It certainly won't be the same, but it can at least get you in the neighborhood, if not the ballpark. Let's start by chilling our glass. Fill it with ice and water and set it aside. Next, we're going to measure an ounce and a half of scotch. Add that to the mixing glass. Measure an ounce of Campari. Add that to the mixing glass. Measure an ounce of sweet vermouth. Add that to the mixing glass. Add ice and stir it well to chill it down and give it some dilution. Dump the ice and water from your Nick and Nora glass. Then strain the contents of your mixing glass into your chilled cocktail glass. Cut a wide swath of orange peel, being careful not to cut into the white pith. Express the oils of your orange twist over the drink, rub it along the rim of your glass, and drop it in for garnish. And there you have it. The drink that's more than a pairing. The Unholy Alliance. Enjoy. Click here for more videos. Be sure to subscribe, and check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.